this is the wee man. As you can see, he's not wee at all. He's huge. Wee stands for Waste Electrical and Electronic Equipment. He's made from 3.3 tonnes of electrical junk, the amount that the average UK resident creates in a lifetime. Hi, I'm John Dee and this is Tipping Point. I'm afraid I'm a tech junkie. I love gadgets. But a lot of my electronic goods have contained so much lead, mercury, cadmium and flame retardant that they're classed as hazardous waste in many countries. That's why the European Union has issued the WE Directive, which makes producers of electrical goods financially responsible for their collection and recycling. Consumers can return their old goods to the manufacturers free of charge, in the knowledge that the materials will be properly recycled or reused. But the best thing about the directive is that it creates a financial incentive to make goods that are easier to recycle. Australia has no similar unified approach. Instead, we have many different recycling schemes that mainly rely on the consumer's goodwill to take part. Companies like Dell and Hewlett Packard voluntarily take back any computer at the end of their life, for free if they've manufactured them. Planet Arc and the printer cartridge industry have set up a cartridge recycling scheme. There are recycling bins at post offices and many, many retailers, and the cartridges are sent to close the loop in Melbourne, where an Australian invention, the Green Machine, recycles 100% of the material, turning the plastic into a new product called e-wood that looks and behaves like hardwood. The mobile phone industry, too, has set up a program called Mobile Muster, that has recycled hundreds of thousands of handsets. But as Australians buy around 8 million handsets a year, a lot are unaccounted for. Planet Arc have tried to make things a little easier for everyone by setting up the recyclingnearyou.com.au website. By typing in your postcode, you can find out everything that's recyclable in your local area. And it covers computers, fridges, mobile phones, all the usual suspects, but it also has things that you might not have thought of, like oil, car tires, phone books, paint cans. Well, the list is huge. Of course, measures like this really help, but the fact is Australia needs to take a similar approach to Europe when it comes to recycling. Setting tough recycling requirements on manufacturers ensures that they will maximise the environmental efficiencies of their products, and that will contribute to a far better future for Australia's kids. I'm John Dee for the Weather Channel. Until next time, see you later. Hi, John Dee again. To find out more about this episode of Tipping Point, log on to weatherchannel.com.au.